Now I've applied the gum to the threads of the fitting. I'm just gonna jam her in there. Contact! Gentlemen, welcome back to the holiest of holies, the inner sanctum. Check out the bounty. Plentiful bounty. I am quitting my gig. Guys ask me all the time what I do for a living. Well, I quit that nonsense. I'm going full-time into <laughs> the beer bet industry. Green, wet, and skunky. I enjoy my beers the way Captain Kirk loves his ladies. It invariably follows a very predictable sequence of events wherein there's a bunch of guys standing around scratching heads and there's a seemingly intractable technical problem to overcome which has thus far eluded everyone present. Despite troubleshooting strategies like we've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas, it was working just yesterday. I don't know, it was like that when I came on shift. That's fucked. Now, once the paralysis of learned helplessness has established a beachhead, I let drop. This reminds me of a time when me and my buddy Fingers McGee were canoodling down the Mekong. Yada yada yada, we fixed it with a used condom and a hardbound copy of Modernist Cuisine. Which is received with snorts of derision and, hey, can't you see? I got a clipboard. That is never gonna fucking work. And now, the trap is set. We have only to spring it. And here's the best part, there's no risk to me, there's no downside other than looking a fool, but hey, everybody has a laugh anyway, even if I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I get a bunch of free beers. To wit, today I'm gonna learn you how to fix a leaking O-ring, high pressure, hydraulic O-ring, with bubble gum. Now first thing you gotta do, oh my, there's too much gum. Jesus. So sugary, what am I, 12? This, you just only need half of that. Oh my dear gourd, what is in there? My aching diabetes. The Corn Growers Association of America would remind you to help support a farmer right here at home by choosing Caterpillar brand insulin, the Patriot's Choice of Pancreatic Supplement. I think we can all agree that the old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. Now what for authenticity, we're gonna use the old Saskatchewan socket set. These things are great because you always know it's at the proper torque on account of it being rounded right over. Got the air compressor going there for power in the port of power pump, which is a air over hydraulic. Uh, 10,000 PSI, that's, that's a lot of bar. Cortex. Quit shying away from the screen, don't worry. I got this, it's not gonna fly out at you and poke your eye out through the internet. The only super sketchy thing is that O-ring could fail catastrophically and send a jet of pressurized oil our way, but... Safety squints engaged. There we go. So the O-rings failed. There we go. Three thousand, three thousand squares per pound inch. That's around two hundred and fifty bar. And a thank you is in order to the astute viewer who is keeping it real and pointed out to me that hydraulic fluid is not aloe vera. So contact dermatitis. It ain't no joke. Oh, I'm wearing the love glove. Ah, sometimes I get lazy, you know. I cut my teeth in a time where rubbers were for sailors. There you can see the problem with this. <laughs> because we put the problem in it but you can see it's even extruded even more where it was cut and where the oil is coming out of so it's not doing any fucking good at all let's just get rid of it now i've applied the gum to the threads of the fitting i'm just gonna jam her in there jam her in there Click. Contact. 
Good. Yeah. 500. No leaky leaky. One thousand. No leaky leaky. Actually, that's fifteen hundred. Framing you, fuck. There you go. Three thousand psi of hot. Hydraulic oil withheld by bubblegum. Thank you very much. I'll take my beer in the mail. This begs the question, of course, why does this work? And the secret is right here on the ingredient list. Glucose syrup gum base. It sounds pretty innocuous. Innocuous. But what is gum base? So I went to some manufacturers and promptly got PFO'd. <laughs> Please fuck off. This gum base is a proprietary blend of 11 herbs and spices, and they won't tell you what's in there because it's secret family recipe, etc. However, there is one company, Tops, I believe, or that used Chica, distinctly said Chica. So I got looking into that. It's all natural, all that good stuff, 100% natural. It's latex from rubber trees. So rubber... That's fine, that's 100% natural, but then you get digging, and the gum base is actually butylene rubber, Buna N, nitrile. There's also a styrene butylene compound, so the crappy, it's, it's, it's plastic, it's food grade plastic. So, guess what O-rings are made of? If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know that they're Buna N, butylene nitrile rubber. Same thing that's in chewing gum. That there is some food for thought. Something to chew on, you might say. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.